As our society evolves, we're becoming more in tune with those that have long been unfairly ignored, belittled, or dismissed. Those that are born with dwarfism have sadly experienced all three. So today, we are celebrating some of the most incredible little people ever to walk the earth. From a tiny Bollywood star to a multi-world record holder, here are 15 of the world's smallest people you won't believe exist. <sighs> Number 15. Jyoti Kisange Anje Imagine, for a moment, a grown woman slightly shorter than your average two-year-old. That's Jyoti Kasange Anje, and despite her short stature, she's managed to transform herself into a Bollywood star in her own right. Hello, I'm Jyoti Anje. I'm 24 years old. Anje was born with a form of dwarfism called achondroplasia, meaning she will not grow any taller than the two feet at which she stands. Her weight is just 11 pounds, which seems almost impossible, but it is very much the truth. All of this sounds as if it would work against her, but actually, Anjay's life is pretty awesome. She has everything made specially for her. From clothes to cutlery, her school experience is no different from anybody else's. And she has taken the entertainment world by storm. In 2012 alone, Anjay starred in two Bollywood movies and released an album with her favorite Bhangra rap star, Mike Singh. So she's doing pretty well. Anjay is a perfect example of triumph in adversity. Despite her short stature, Anjay has not been held back from a great and fulfilling life. Quite the opposite, actually. I mean, how many of us were starring in major movies at the age of 20? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Bridget Jordan Breaking a Guinness World Record is undoubtedly a high point in anybody's life, but for Bridget Jordan, she was basically a multi-record holder. Not only was she the shortest woman on the planet, but she was also one of the shortest living siblings. That's a high-achieving family. I just think it's good. Jordan was born in 1989 with a rare genetic condition known as microcephalic osteotis plastic primordial dwarfism, type 2. The condition meant she was never more than 2 feet 3 inches tall, a height that won her the record in 2011 from the previous holder, Elif Kokoman. Jordan's brother, Brad, was also born with the same condition, which meant they were both eligible for and won the Guinness World Record for the shortest living siblings. At the age of 20, Brad measured at 38 inches tall, making these small siblings a very big deal. Jordan's record as the shortest woman alive was eventually bested by Jyoti Amje in 2011, though Jordan was forever known as the shortest woman alive. Sadly, she passed away in 2019, but her legacy continues to live on. Number 13. Kajendra Tapa Magar on his 18th birthday in 2010, Kajandra Tapa Magar was measured at the hospital. There, the doctors confirmed that he stood at just 2 feet 2 inches tall and was therefore eligible for the Guinness World Record of the shortest living mobile man on the planet. The Guinness Book of World Records recognizes two categories for short people, mobile and non-mobile. Thanks to his height and capable mobility, Magar quickly became the sorties living mobile man on the planet, only slightly taller than the shortest living non-mobile man on the planet. When a representative from the Guinness Book of World Records measured him on live Italian television, they confirmed he was indeed the shortest male teenager alive. This event soon transformed his life, with Magar being booked for a whole host of media appearances and becoming a celebrity in his own right. Sadly, Megger died in 2020, at the tragic age of 27, but thanks to the Guinness Book of World Records, he will forever be known as a record breaker. And that's more than I can say about most of us, right? Number 12. Edward Nino Hernandez. This is a real story about ups and downs in the world of records. The very nature of having a world record is knowing that there will come a day when someone else will likely take it away from you. For Hernandez, that day came. And yet, today, he holds the record for the shortest living mobile man. 
Son tres grandes. At the age of 24, Hernandez was measured and certified by the Guinness Book of World Records as the world's shortest living mobile man. He measured just two feet, three and a half inches tall. The previous title holder, He Ping Ping, was 1.5 inches taller than Hernandez, but died shortly before Hernandez's measuring. Hernandez's reign as the shortest living mobile man was astonishingly brief, illuminating just how fleeting these accomplishments can be. How brief? Hernandez was certified in September 2010, but by October 2010, he was already replaced by Kajendra Tapa Megar. 15 minutes of fame doesn't even cut it. Megar died in 2020, which means that the title immediately reverts back to the previous living winner. In this case, that happened to be Hernandez. To sum it up, Hernandez took the title, lost the title almost immediately, and then regained the title 10 years later. Nothing had changed, it's just the way things go. Number 11. The Chohan Family as we all know, much of our genetics are hereditary. If baldness runs in our family, we will likely experience it. Blue eyes? You'll probably have blue eyes. Achondroplasia? You're most likely going to have that too. The Chohan family certainly does. The Chohan family hail from Telangana, in India, and they're most known for the fact that 9 of 11 relatives are dwarfs. Specifically, the family is affected by the condition achondroplasia, which causes short-limbed dwarfism in its recipients. For this family, the condition has led them to being known as the largest dwarf family in Hyderabad. And that reputation comes with a price. The family is often taunted in the street if they're out together suffering harmful and volatile abuse for no reason. Given their size, they also struggle to find stable work, which makes things even more complicated than they already are. Still, none of this holds the family back. In fact, the obstacles and adversity have brought the family closer than perhaps anything else. As long as they're in it together, they can weather any storm that may come their way. That's true family love right there. Number 10. Charlotte Garside At the age of two, when she was snuggling up to her favorite teddy bears, Charlotte Garside was just 22 inches tall. That means she was smaller than most of the toys she had on her own bed and would never grow taller. <laughs> yep. A doctor confirmed that Garside was born with a rare form of primordial dwarfism that all but guaranteed she wouldn't reach two feet in height. These symptoms, which are not necessarily usual, to the average case of primordial dwarfism had apparently never been seen together in a single person. As she began to grow older, Charlotte was forced to wear newborn baby dresses, as her frame was too small for anything else. Still, it doesn't affect anything about her life. Her family adores her, she is a happy young child, and her bears are fond of her too. Charlotte Garside's condition is still unknown. Nobody knows what exactly exactly it is or what it should be called. And nobody knows how doctors didn't spot the condition in the usual scans. But since she's happy and healthy, does it really matter? Number 9. Kennedy Jordan Bromley Given the adverse conditions that they're born into, it would be easy to fall into the assumption that children born with rare physical conditions would be unhappy. But this is actually far from the truth. Many of these people are filled with love, happiness, and joy. Case in point, Kennedy Jordan Bromley. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's just crazy. Kennedy was born with a rare form of primordial dwarfism that is believed to affect around 100 people worldwide. That's not a mistake. That's 100 people on a planet of billions. Kennedy's condition has led to a number of troublesome side effects, including respiratory and eating problems, but none of it seems to affect her whatsoever. Her life actually is pretty normal when you think about it. She likes all the things everybody else does. She's energetic, she's enthusiastic, it's hard to see where her condition has hindered her whatsoever. And to top it all off, she always has a smile. Kennedy is an example of how someone is not defined by their condition. She lives a happy, healthy life, and what more could anybody ask for? Doritos? Sure, but those are easy to find. Number 8. 
Jeonri Balawing With every passing year, we come to accept some certainties. We are going to get older, things will inevitably become worse, and there will be a new person certified the smallest man alive. And, true to form, we're looking at another one. Jeonri Balawing is known as the world's shortest man. <laughs> Measuring just 59.9 centimeters tall, he received the honor at the tender age of 18. And at his birthday party, no less. I imagine that's one of the best presents you could possibly receive. That or PlayStation. But then I suppose the record would probably last a bit longer. When he was born, Balowing's father expressed concern about his son's well-being. While his three siblings were of average height, there was something strange about Junri. He stopped growing and nobody could explain why. But on his 18th birthday, nobody was bothered about why it may be. They were there to celebrate him. And that's enough. John Rhee has difficulty standing and walking around him, but his local community is incredibly protective of their record breaker. His new local hero statues led to an influx of monetary donations by celebrities and politicians, which allowed the family to begin saving. As for Balowing, he was just happy to have a cake. And honestly, I'd be happy to. Number 7. Gul Muhammad between 1990 and 1997, Gul Muhammad was widely considered to be the shortest adult human being alive. His legacy has continued even after his passing, among world record enthusiasts. On July 19, 1990, Muhammad was officially examined at the Ram Manohar Lohia Hospital in New Delhi. His height was recorded as 1 foot 10.5 inches. His weight was 37 and a half pounds. These figures quickly landed him in the Guinness Book of World Records as the world's shortest adult human, a prize that he would retain until he died in 1997. Muhammad's condition meant that he suffered from severe respiratory illnesses like asthma and bronchitis, which eventually led to his failing health and death at the age of 40. Following his passing, the record for the shortest living adult man was passed on to Chandra Bahadur Dangi of Nepal, who was measured at 21.5 inches tall. Muhammad's legacy is one that still has not been forgotten. This peaceful Indian man earned his title and held on to it for an astonishing seven years. A long time in world records. Probably should have the world record for the longest held world record. Although that's more territory for the Guinness Book of Meta World Records, isn't it? Number 6. Chandra Bahadur Imagine an adult man, and now imagine six stacked cans of baked beans, piled one atop the other. That's the size of Chandra Bahadur, once considered to be the shortest man in recorded history. With irrefutable evidence, he was one foot nine and a half inches tall. The seventh sibling in a family of eight children, Bahadur was born in an isolated Nepalese village. Three of his five brothers never grew more than four feet tall, while the other two and his two sisters were of average height. He was, incredibly, never examined by a doctor, meaning that he never fully knew the cause of his condition. However, in 2012, Bahadur traveled to Nepal to meet with representatives from the Guinness Book of World Records. There he was measured to be 21.5 inches tall and given the official certification of the world's shortest man. Bahadur's life following the certification is fascinating. He began capitalizing on his record by touring with Samoa's Tupal Bruno's Magic Circus and participating in Guinness World Records events. Sadly, in 2015, Bahadur died suddenly at the age of 75. His legacy has not faded, and he's still one of the most popular Guinness World Record holders ever to have walked the earth. Number 5. Manpreet Singh Many of us are often mistaken for being younger than we are, a condition affectionately known as babyface. But Manpreet Singh is on a whole other level. This is no baby. It's a full-grown man with an incredibly rare condition. And he's considered to be one of India's most blessed people, believe it or not. 
Man Preet Singh was born in 1995 with Laren syndrome, a rare condition that stunted his growth at the age of six months. As a result, he looks like a two-year-old baby that will likely never mature. The condition has not just affected Singh's ability, but also mentality. Singh has the mental age of a baby and will probably never grow out of that. He is incapable of speaking and can only communicate through screams or cries, meaning that he has to have someone around to look after him. If this all sounds pretty grim, there is something of a light among all the darkness. The people of India love Manpreet. They flock from all over the country to visit him, to touch him, believing that he is the reincarnation of a Hindu god. Whether or not you believe that is a whole other thing, but it's heartwarming to know that he has regular visitors who truly appreciate him. Number 4. Nick Smith When Nick Smith was born, the doctors warned his mother that he may not live as long as they'd like, and he may never walk or talk due to a condition known as microcephalic osteodysplastic primordial dwarfism. But do we have some good news? Nick is still with us, and he's still breaking all expectations. Hello. And you can see yourself. <laughs> Nick Smith is just 2 feet 6 inches tall and will never grow any taller. But despite the doctor's warnings, Nick is making the most of every day he has been given. In 2020, Smith celebrated his 28th birthday with friends and family, an achievement that is much bigger than it sounds. People with Nick's condition often don't even get close to the age of 28. For him, to still be alive, celebrating and well is nothing short of miraculous. And for him to be so happy is another reason to be thankful. It truly is a miracle. There's no other way to put it. Nick's story is one of incredible fortune, given the circumstances. He has managed to live a much longer and more worthwhile life than the doctors ever suggested he could have. And if he can, he's going to have a lot more. Number 3. Pi Ping Ping we're going to go back to 2008, a year filled with misery for many. But for one man, 2008 was an incredible accomplishment. He Ping Ping was finally recognized by the Guinness Book of World Records for his most notable trait, his short stature. You should quit smoking. To be exact, he Ping Ping stands at 26 inches tall and weighs 15 and a half pounds. He was born with a condition that stunts what many would consider average bone growth, leaving him relatively small compared to the average adult man. In fact, during one particularly notable photo opportunity, he once fit himself into the shoe of the world's tallest man, the late Robert Wadlow, who stood a whopping 8 feet 11 inches tall. But all of that is secondary to the moment that would define Ping Ping's life, the day he was finally certified as the world's shortest mobile man, a title he dreamed of for much of his life. Despite his short stature, Ping Ping had a dream and worked to accomplish it. That he succeeded is incredible enough. For a man that once said one chicken nugget was enough to fill him up for a day, you can only imagine how hungry he was to get that prize. Number 2. Hannah Kritzek Despite living with a condition that only affects 100 people worldwide, Hannah Kritzek has refused to let her circumstances define her. She's a perfectly normal 19-year-old girl, albeit one that's just a little bit shorter than her fellow classmates. I think I'm like five. Even little kids think I'm like... When she was born, Kritzik was diagnosed with an extremely rare form of primordial dwarfism, meaning she would never reach a height akin to others her age. The condition also comes with health problems, including the possibility that she may not live as long as those around her. But that doesn't bother Hannah one bit. Now Kritzik is 19 years old and measures just 39 inches tall, yet she's still living a life much like her friends and peers. Thanks to her parents, Kritzik's childhood was a normal one, filled with music and dancing, yet many still think of her as a child due to her extremely small stature. Hannah Kritzik is an optimist filled with hopes and dreams for her future. And given the sheer joy that she seems to be driven by, it's easy to see that she'll likely achieve them. Number 1. Christiane Ray If you know Christiane Ray at all, you'll know her for one reason. She's the world's tiniest pregnant mom. And that's not some kind of creative publicity campaign talking, it's legit. She is the tiniest pregnant mother you'll find anywhere in the world. It's like their eyes are glued to me. 
Like they cannot get their eyes off of me. I'm like. Christiane measures just two feet, nine inches tall, and gave birth to her second child in 2013. But being the world's smallest pregnant mother is not easy. When she walks, she requires someone to hold both her hands or she topples over with the weight of the bump. In her words, it's like balancing a bowling ball on toothpicks. Her baby is so heavy that Christiane is often carried around by her fiancé, a six-foot-four man named Jeremy. Sounds like the kind of life many women long for. Given her personal circumstances, Christiane is unable to carry her children full-term and can only give birth via caesarine. Even then, doctors warned her that there was a 50% chance of her child being born with some form of dwarfism. Christiane is clearly not offended by the moniker of world's tiniest pregnant mom. Actually, she seems to embrace it readily. After all, how many mothers can describe their pregnancy experience as a bowling ball on toothpicks? Had you heard of any of these people before this video? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!